And medical supplies aren't the only thing that can be impacted when natural disasters strike. Disaster relief organizations like the Salvation Army are working to make sure all kinds of critical supplies are getting to people who need them, especially after two major hurricanes made landfall in just two weeks. For more, let's bring in Jeff Jellitz. He is the Emergency Disaster Services Director for the Salvation Army's Southern Territory. Jeff, good to have you with us. Let's start just with the big picture here. Your website says the Salvation Army is currently operating in six states because of these back-to-back -back hurricanes. What goes into coordinating an effort this large? Well, it's a major operation right now. We would call it a historic operation. The Salvation Army has already served over 360,000 meals across impacted states from Florida all the way up into Tennessee. That obviously includes uh, North Carolina, where we have a major relief operation. It means mobilizing people, equipment, supplies uh, to provide things like hot meals, emergency relief supplies like cleaning materials, infant supplies. And it means putting a lot of people on the ground who can do those service delivery efforts. You mentioned some of the ways you're helping people there in, in Florida who are impacted by Milton. What are the greatest needs right now beyond some of the things you just mentioned there? Well, I think um, um, the, the need for food right now is absolutely critical. Uh, for us, yesterday was our first day in the field actually providing meals. We need to ramp up that capacity in a significant way. Um, we want to make sure that people have a good, wholesome meal. Drinks, obviously, it's hot. Um, the lack of power um, means people can't cook at home. Uh, going beyond the food, um, it's more than just a meal. It's also about the emotional and spiritual care that's needed. Your videos before mentioned that uh, people have been hit by storm after storm after storm and so the mental toll is also troubling so a lot of what we're doing also is just providing a listening ear and letting people know that they're not alone in this 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 very dark time that is so important to so many right now you know a lot of our viewers don't live in florida they feel a little helpless they want to help out but don't know how what are the best ways people can help um, it's easy to help. The best way to help is to make a cash contribution to the charity of your choice. If that charity happens to be the Salvation Army, go to helpsalvationarmy.org or dial 1-800-SAL-ARMY. We will put every dollar that is given to work, um, either responding to Hurricane Helene or Hurricane um, Milton relief efforts. And let's talk more about Helene. The Salvation Army has been helping out in Appalachia since Helene moved through. When you're dealing with recovery efforts that last such a long time, how do people's needs shift week by week, month by month? We know the immediate needs, but this is a long recovery process. Yeah, disaster recovery can take years. Um, for and, and every family moves through that process a little bit differently. Some may have insurance, some may not have insurance. And so what the Salvation Army does is really walk alongside families and those community long-term recovery groups. Um, down the road, we're funding things like reconstruction. Uh, we're funding things like replacement of appliances and furnishings. And again, that takes a long time. We are still doing long-term recovery operations for Hurricane Ida, Hurricane Ian, Hurricane Adelia. And so it can be a years long process for, for some individuals. An important thing to remember. Jeff Jellitz, thank you for your time this morning. We really do appreciate it. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.